Hello, welcome to Read Along with Superintendent Thompson. I am so excited today because I have a special guest. His name is Fabian Amanderas. Hi, Fabian. Hola, Doctora Thompson. Fabian is bilingual. Do you know what bilingual means? That means that he speaks two different languages. He can speak Spanish and he can speak English. And so today we have a really cool book that is written in English and it's written in Spanish. And so I needed some help with the Spanish portion. So I have him with me today. We are reading a really cool book called Marta Big and Small. And it's written by Jen Arena and it's illustrated by Angela Dominguez. Marta es una niña. An ordinary girl. To a bug, Marta es grande. Big, very big. To an elephant, Marta es pequeña. Small, very small. To a horse, Marta es lenta. Slow, very slow. To a turtle, Marta es rápida. Fast, very fast. To a lion, Marta es tranquila. Quiet, very quiet. To a rabbit, Marta es ruidosa. Loud, very loud. To a snake, Marta es sabrosa. Tasty, very tasty. Marta, ¿dónde estás? Where are you? Whew. Marta es ingeniosa. Clever, very clever. Marta is loud like... El león. Quiet like... El conejo. Fast like... El caballo. Slow like... La tortuga. Big like... El elefante. Small like... El insecto. And clever, very clever. Like una niña. Fabian, that was so much fun reading all of those English and Spanish words. Can we take some time right now to go over some of these words so that you can teach me some of them? Of course, Dr. Thompson. Marta is... Una niña. A girl. Grande. Big. Pequeña. Small. Lenta. Slow. Rápida. Fast. Tranquila. Quiet. Ruidosa. Loud. Sabrosa. Tasty. Ingeniosa. Clever. Marta meets... El insecto. The bug. El elefante. The elephant. El caballo. The horse. La tortuga. The turtle. El león. The lion. El conejo. The rabbit. La serpiente. The snake. Wow, I had such a great time reading with Mr. Amanderas. You know, I have a question for you, Fabian. What is it like and how does this benefit you to be able to speak not one language, but two languages? It is great, Dr. Thompson. You're able to communicate with so many people that speak both languages. Not only that, but it allows you to have better opportunities in the future. So for those youngsters out there, uh, if you ever have an opportunity to take a foreign language, I highly encourage you to do this. Ahora, la doctora Thompson me acaba de preguntar, ¿qué es lo mejor de poder hablar dos idiomas? Uh, lo que le contesté es, es obvio que es, es importante para el futuro. Uh, te puedes comunicar con muchas más personas. Entonces le recomendamos a todos los niños si tienen la oportunidad, por favor, tomen otra clase, una clase de, de otro idioma para que puedan hablar en, con diferentes tipos de personas. That is so awesome. And Fabian, I hope you can teach me some more words in the future It's because I would love the opportunity to be able to speak two different languages. Claro. Thank you for joining the Superintendent's Read Along. See you next time. Adios.